perfect. <laughs> All right, so pal, um, <clears throat> the question this week comes from one of your subscribers. We had posted attacks from the deep half um, when, he's, when he's not protecting his arm. So the question is, if the guy on the bottom who's using deep half effectively and hiding his arm like he should be doing, what options do we have from there? Maybe two or three. All right. So first, I, I kind of want to, for, for this... Okay, he's here like this. Okay, I want to clear. It doesn't matter if he's grabbing my my belt or my leg over here. Mostly everybody starts playing deep half like this, right, of some sort. Okay, now I'm gonna grab from the pants on the hips. Okay, so I'm gonna look to grab. I'm gonna lean towards my head and then pull his hips this way, like that. Now I can use my forearm like this because I don't want his head to come up and block my hip from stepping over. So I go here and James Brown it, which is like a split, here. Now, depending on what happens here, if he, see how he's already wanting to underhook because it's, it's vulnerable like back here like this, so he's here. So I immediately go here to Kimura. I can choose to butt scoop back into his armpit or I can just go here like this, gather his legs like in a half guard, force that. If he comes into me because he thinks I'm going down, now I, I go here and you see how I've locked down his leg and then go here. So that way, if he tries to roll, shoulder roll, I just straighten my lockdown. So the first one is you choosing the attack. The second one is if he's, he sees and tries to defend by rolling out. Yeah, I, well, either way, I just secure the, the Kimura. So it's just a different reaction. If he comes into me, I lock it down. If not, I kind of just wedge my, my body and then just work the Kimura. Gotcha. Wedge right. my shin against his hips. Um, Next, if I, if I can go here, I'll do the same thing with his hips, okay? I lean my weight this way, here, block, and then I'm holding, step, slide. Now, if his arm comes back and he's kind of hiding this one now, or keeping it tight, I roll this hand behind his neck here, and I'm looking to secure his neck here. I'm looking for his chin control, like this. Yeah. Just like uh, when you're going here, just reaching to grab here, like that. So I'm here like this. Now I secure, put my head down, forehead down. Here. Drop my knees, hips. There's no arm in on that? Uh, you, if there is. Is it just a straight guillotine or is there an arm trapped in there? It, it doesn't matter. If there's an arm in, you would have to modify it. Like, okay, because remember your standard guillotine with just the head is different than when with the arm in. Yeah. You're gonna have to do a little different. That's why no matter what I do, I always grab chin control. So that way if the arm is in or not, I use this like this and I grab my thumb and I'm rotating at the bottom of his neck. So it doesn't matter arm in or arm not. I might have to like drop my hips versus stretching, elongate them. Yeah, yeah. With it's just the neck, you elongate. If it's with the arm in, you kind of want to curl his chin to his chest. A little different movement. Yeah. So obviously the guillotines work better with the nogi, but you can still hit them with your, you got the 350 GSM, Sapao custom gi, or whatever it is. Awesome. Thank All you right. so much, Sapao. Yeah.